Hello everyone, welcome to SiliconANGLE news breaking story here. Amazon Web Services expanding their relationship with Hugging Face. Uh, breaking news here on SiliconANGLE. I'm John Furrier, SiliconANGLE reporter, founder, and also co-host of theCUBE. And I have with me Swami from Amazon Web Services, Vice President of Database Analytics Machine Learning with AWS. Swami, great to have you on for this breaking news segment on AWS's big news. Thanks for coming on and taking the time. Hey John, pleasure to be here. I'm you know, really looking. we've had many conversations on theCUBE over the years. We've watched Amazon really move fast into the large data modeling. You, SageMaker became a very smashing success. Obviously you've been on this for a while. Now with ChatGPT, OpenAI, a lot of buzz going mainstream, takes it from behind the curtain, inside the ropes, if you will, in the industry to a mainstream. And so this is a big moment, I think, in the industry. I want to get your perspective because your news with Hugging Face, I think, is a is another tell sign that we're about to tip over into a new accelerated growth around making AI now application aware, application centric, more programmable, more API access. What's the big news about with AWS Hugging Face? You know, what's going on with this announcement? Uh, yeah, uh, first of all, we are very excited to announce our expanded uh, collaboration with Hugging Face uh, because with this partnership, uh, our goal, as you all know, I mean, uh, Hugging Face, I consider them like the uh, GitHub for machine learning. And uh, uh, with this partnership, Hugging Face and AWS uh, will be able to democratize AI for a broad range of developers, not just specific uh, deep AI uh, startups. And now uh, with this, we can accelerate the training, fine tuning and deployment of these large language models and uh, vision models uh, from Hugging Face in the cloud. Uh, so, and uh, uh, the uh, broader context when you step back and see what customer problem we are trying to solve with this announcement. Essentially, if you see these foundational models uh, are used to now create like a huge number of uh, applications uh, such as like text summarization, question answering or search, image generation, creative, uh, other things. And um, these are all stuff we are seeing in the likes of these chat GPT style applications, but there is a broad range of enterprise use cases that we don't even talk about. And uh, it's because these kind of transformative generative AI capabilities and models are not uh, available to, I mean, millions of developers. And um, because either training these LLMs from scratch can be very expensive or time consuming and need deep expertise, or more importantly, they don't need these generic models. They need them to be fine tuned for the specific use cases. Uh, and one of the biggest complaints we hear is that uh, these models, uh, when they try to use it for real production use cases, they are incredibly expensive to train and incredibly expensive to run in front on, uh, to use it at a production scale. So, and unlike search, uh, web search style applications where the margins can be really huge, um, here in production use cases and enterprises, you want efficiency at scale. That's where Hugging Face and AWS share our mission. And by integrating with uh, Trainium and Inferentia, we're able to handle the cost efficient uh, training and inference at scale. I'll deep dive on it. And by training, uh, teaming up on the SageMaker front, now the time it takes to build these models and fine tune them is also coming down. So that's what makes this partnership very unique uh, as well, so and very exciting. I want to get into the to the uh, time savings and the cost savings as well on the on the training and inference. It's a huge issue. But before we get into that, just how long have you guys been working with Hugging Face? I know there's a previous relationship. This is an expansion of that relationship. Can you comment on the what's different about what's happened before and then now? Yeah, so uh, Hugging Face, we have had a uh, great relationship in the past uh, few years uh, as well, where they have actually made their models uh, available uh, to run on AWS in a fashion. Even in fact, uh, their Bloom project uh, was something many of our customers even used. Uh, Bloom project for context is their open source project, uh, which builds a GPT-3 style uh, model. And uh, now with this expanded collaboration, now Hugging Face uh, selected uh, AWS for the next generation of its generative AI model, uh, building on their highly successful Bloom project as well. And the nice thing is um, 
now by direct integration with Trainium and Inferentia, where you get uh, cost savings in a really uh, significant way. Uh, now, now, for instance, TR on one uh, can provide up to 50% cost to train savings and Inferentia can deliver up to 60% better costs and uh, 4X uh, more uh, higher throughput and or now, now these models, especially as they train their next generation uh, generative AI models, it is going to be not only more accessible to <laughs> all the developers who use it and open, so it'll be a lot cheaper uh, as well. And that's what uh, makes this moment really exciting because yeah. we can't democratize AI unless we make it uh, broadly accessible and cost efficient and uh, easy to program and use as well. Okay, thanks Swami, really appreciate Swami's a Cuba alumni, but also Vice President of Database Analytics, Machine Learning and Web Services, breaking down the hugging face announcement. Obviously the relationship, he called it the GitHub of machine learning. This is the beginning of what we will see, a continuing competitive battle with Microsoft, Microsoft launching OpenAI. Amazon's been doing it for years. They got Alexa, they know what they're doing. It's going to be very interesting to see how this all plays out. You're watching SiliconANGLE News, breaking here. I'm John Furrier, host of theCUBE. Thanks for watching.